hi everybody and thank you for watching so i started this channel to have some accountability and motivate myself to organize my home i have decided to participate in vlogmas this year and complete this 30-day organizing challenge i found online if this sounds interesting to you please subscribe to my channel watch my daily videos as i clean my areas of my home and make 2024 an amazing year for myself and for my family Welcome to Vlogmas and Organizing Challenge Day 4 where we look at our fridge and our freezer. So my fridge is not that bad. Um, honestly, I look at or I organize my fridge almost on a weekly basis. But it's good to do like a deep clean, like take all the shelves out and go through the condiments and check everything also all the products here you can see i've just got fruit and vegetables on every shelf meat on every shelf so i just want to organize it a little bit to make it a little bit more neater and then also the freezer i haven't deep cleaned this freezer in a while so i really want to pull everything out and organize it and see what's underneath these products more than likely there's a lot of debris and stuff under there so that's going to be my first goal so i'm actually really rushing to kind of get this done i'm just doing shelf by shelf because my fridge actually beeps at you if you've had it open too long so i'm going to do this small uh, shelf first i'm going to take all the products out and i'm going to wipe this all down there's actually quite a lot of debris on this one here so i'm going to wipe this down put everything back and then i'm going to work on the next shelf So I tried to do the easy way and pull out the whole shelf with all the products in it, but it's just a bit too heavy. So I've taken some of the products out first. That way I can get the shelf out. And then I'm gonna show you what the shelf looks like. Well, once I take all the shelf out, you can see that down the bottom, there is a lot of dirt there. So I really wanted to quickly clean this. My freezer, you don't hear it, but it is beeping at me like crazy. So I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna spray it and wipe it all down. That way it is nice and clean. And then after that, I'm gonna close that drawer so it stops beeping at me. And then I'm gonna focus on the products on the shelf. I honestly thought that my job was done but when I reopened the drawer and double checked it I looked behind at the actual door itself and there was a lot of dirt there so I'm going to show you to you really quickly so you can see there there's a lot of dirt there so I'm going to go and quickly clean that area so that I can um, say that I have cleaned the freezer we'll clean the freezer door and I can start working on the actual products or the food that was actually in the freezer so these are all the items that I pulled out of my freezer and then down there so I'm going to pull everything out of this deep drawer and then i'm going to show you how much debris you can already see there's a lot of dirt there but once i take all the product out you're going to see how bad it really is It's a little embarrassing but you can see there is a lot of excess um, ice that comes from the ice machine and there's a lot of crumbs and stuff like that so i tried to take the divider out but it wouldn't come out so i'm just going to tip all of the crumbs out and i'm going to start um, cleaning i'm going to spray it and then i'm going to wipe it all down as much as possible
So now that I have a clean drawer, I'm going to start putting the food back in. I found that little container. I think I found that in my pantry when I did the pantry. And so I thought I'd use that to try and put some of the meat products in there so that maybe um, it won't like leak into the drawer again. So on the left, I've got all meat products. So whether it's meat or seafood. And then on the right, I've got just a bunch of random stuff there. So from fruits and vegetables to um, sauces and other stuff like that we actually do have a second freezer out in our um, garage that one more or less just has excess products so it's quite clean but this is the one that we use the most so i'm basically done with the freezer i'm just putting everything back and then i'm turning on the ice machine again and so now let's work on the fridge so the first thing i'm going to do is pull all the condiments out that's my first goal i'm going to take all the condiments out and work on the shelves first because like I said, my fridge and freezer beeps at me. I don't want to keep the door open too long. So I'm going to go through all of these condiments. So there's quite a lot here. So I'm going to double check all of the expiry dates. I'm also going to pull them out of the shelves and just wipe down the shelves as much as possible. As I was putting the products back in the shelves, I did a little bit of a rearranging, kind of bring the spreads together and sauces together. And then you can see with this one, it actually was stuck to the shelf. So it did leak a little bit. So I am trying to wipe it down. In the end, uh, wiping it wasn't enough. So I decided to wash it. And that way I could get all of the juice that was um, stuck on the bottom of it. So I wiped that shelf down. And then also the jar itself, I decided to wash that one as well that's like a jar of um, pickles and so that the expiry date hasn't it hasn't lapsed yet so they're still pretty good and so yeah I'm just like I said going through all the condiments wiping down the shelves and then double checking the expiry dates and then rearranging them so that they fit a lot more um, better That didn't take me as long as I expected, so I'm basically done with the shelves. I thought I'd wipe down the doors first before I put the shelves back in. There was really only two main shelves that were really dirty. The one with the pickle that uh, the pickle jar that kind of spilt, and then the last one which had some maple syrup that was a little bit sticky. So I thought I'd wash those ones, but that's basically it. Those were the shelves, and so now my next one is to tackle. I've got three drawers here two with fruits and vegetables and then the bottom one has a lot of our cheese and dairy products and you can see that this bottom of my fridge is so dirty so i really need to wipe this down really quickly and then after i've done that i will focus on the shelves so i haven't deep cleaned this fridge in quite a while and so a lot of times i should really do this at least once every six months but you can see there's a lot of excess that has accumulated down the bottom that's from like the fruits and vegetables and stuff like that so i just wipe that down really quickly and then i'm going to start focusing on the shelves So I'm just going to move the veggie uh, trays to the side so I can focus on this kind of like cheese and other uh, shelf. So I'm taking everything out first and that way I can wipe down the shelf and then after that put everything back and make it a little bit more neater and organized.
another drawer down so i'm just going to put that back in the fridge i don't want to get these products uh, bad so it's hard to kind of clean the fridge because you're on a time crunch because these products need to stay refrigerated so i've done that now my goal is to rearrange these drawers so most, all of these products we just picked them up so there's nothing that's bad i already kind of went through this drawer a couple of days ago before we did grocery shopping a lot of the times i like to line the the drawer with paper towels that way i keep it clean and the products um don't uh, leak into the sh the drawer so i'm just rearranging putting everything back in its place and trying to make it a little bit more neater so that i can actually fit everything in it's kind of like playing tetris with these products uh, so that i'm utilizing the most space that i have So those shelves are done so i'm gonna put them back in the fridge so i was really happy that it didn't take me that long and now i'm gonna start pulling all the other items that i have in the fridge out so i'm gonna pull them out really quickly put them on the kitchen counters and see the damage of the shelves i haven't done this in a while uh, i do rearrange my fridge but i haven't pulled everything out and kind of done a whole uh, deep clean So this is what my fridge looks like. So I do have some liners in here to try and catch as much as much dirt as possible. But you can see it is very dirty. It's been a while since I have cleaned this. So I am going to take those liners out. I am going to wash those. And then also I will wipe down all of those drawers before I even look at um, basically putting products back.
liners are now clean so I'm gonna put it back in the fridge and then I'm gonna start uh, grabbing all the items that I have on the kitchen counter and more or less put them back in the fridge so you can see here I'm gonna start with the drinks first because they go in the bottom I'm gonna move them so that the ones that we drink the the most like milk and juice those go in the front and then the soft drinks in the back and then I have all of these veggies so I did Google and to keep like kale and cilantro and that's so fresh you basically put them in water and then cover them so that's what I've done here and so I usually have those and I put them in the fridge these products here like I juice every day so they will be gone in a couple of days so I always am rotating the products in my fridge not it's not that often that stuff expire i try to utilize everything that i have there and i don't like to see products that go bad and so now i'm going to have all the leftovers i'm going to put them down the bottom all the food that's in tupperware as well as some like sausages and meats that we're going to cook later on and then now i'm going to start putting other products so i've got some kimchi and stuff like that i'm going to put that on the next shelf i've got like some cookie dough and then I've got this uh, lot of products here, so some bread I'm probably going to put in the back. So I'm the only one that really eats bread in my family, so I'm going to put those in the back. And then I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to put all these fruit and vegetables in my fridge. We're down to our last few eggs and that tray is really large so I'm just going to cut it down so that uh, the eggs don't take too much space but more than likely in a few days we're going to have to go to the store and buy some eggs and I'm going to have to rearrange the fridge again to fit those eggs. So we usually go to Costco and buy like the five dozen and that will last us like two weeks but we do have now like only six left so I do have to go back to the store and grab those and then you can just see me rearranging the top shelf so I'm trying to figure out how best to put all these fruits and vegetables into my fridge and I'm just rearranging them on the top shelf for now. This plate that I'm putting back in the fridge, that's actually some sea bass that I am defrosting and we're going to have that for dinner. So it is currently in the fridge right now, but it is going to be our dinner and some of those veggies as well is going to be our dinner. So that's basically it. So let's recap what my fridge looked like before. So it was a little bit messy. Products were all over the place and uh, stuff like that. You don't really see the dirt, but you just see that it is a little bit unorganized in a sense so you can see like fruit and vegetables on different shelves leftovers on different shelves so i really needed to put some organization in that fridge and then also the freezer it's not organized at all and i know that there was a lot of dirt in there because i haven't deep cleaned this one in a long time so that's what i was tackling with today so now let's look at my fridge right now so it is a lot cleaner i can see all of the products have its place so i have all my leftovers i have all the fruit and vegetables on the top all of the condiments nothing really changed because nothing is expired and we use the them all but the cheese tray is nice and clean all of my fruits and vegetables are a bit more neater you can see all the like i said the uh, leftovers there my fruit and vegetables and drinks and then all the veggies at the top there and you see my sea bass here which is what we're going to um, eat tonight for dinner and probably some of those veggies as well so that's basically my fridge so really happy that i found time to organize it today and then now let's look at my freezer so it's a lot more neater i can see it's easier for me to pull the drawer out and you can see all the meats on the left and then on the right has veggies breads and all other stuff and the top is more or less kind of like fruits and desserts and so that's basically it that is my fridge and freezer as i was filming this i noticed that there's some marks on the fridge so i actually wiped it down it was kind of annoying me that it was dirty after this video i decided to wipe down the whole fridge as well but that's basically my fridge and freezer and tomorrow i'm supposed to do recipes which i don't have but i'm going to actually work on my spice cabinet so i hope you're enjoying these videos and i'll see you tomorrow thank you for watching